doing I hope everybody is staying safe and are staying healthy welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to do a review on the Everlane trench coat as the title says because I'm obsessed with this item at the moment I've had it for about two or three three months now. I've been pairing it with everything from casual outfits to fancier outfits to more dressier outfits, jeans to skirts to dress pants to dresses, everything I could <laughs> be wearing for the day. I just throw the trench coat on and it just fits so well and it just pulls everything together so nicely. That's the reason why I've been so obsessed with it and I think it's just such a great staple for the wardrobe. So this is the trench coat that I'm talking about. It is from Everlane and it's just a basic classic trench coat. Very classic style. I love the cut, it's so gorgeous. It's very nice oversized fit, not super, super oversized, but it has a more relaxed oversized fit to it. And it has a collar like this and then just these flats right here on the two sides. And then on this side, it also has four buttons going down, but the other buttons is like hidden in this flap right here. Let me see if I can show you right there. So if you wanted to, you can unbutton this and then it will review the four buttons going down the coat like so on this side. And then of course on the other side, it is also the four button going down. Very classic, like I said, I thought that the color of this coat was going to be more of a brownish tan color because in the photos on the model on Everlane, it showed that the coat was a little bit more of a brownish tan color. But as you can see, this color is a true khaki color. It has more of a slight green tint to it. With that being said, I quite prefer this khaki color over the color that was on the picture with the model. I feel like this color is more neutral and it goes with a lot of things. So that is something that I quite like about the color of this. Also in the front, as you can see, there are so many different ways for you to style this. You can also button this all the way down and then cinch it at a waist with the belt right here or you can just leave it open and make it a more relaxed casual look the back of the jacket looks like this it has this uh, flap right here in the back and then it just goes straight down and it has a little bit of a pleating at the bottom let me see if I can show you this part right here and it's attached by this button uh, tab you can let it loose if you want to or you can just leave it like that so that it can look more pulled together in the front it just has two pockets on the side also on the inside of this jacket it is lined i believe it's mixed between uh 55 percent cupro fabric and then 45 percent cotton the sleeves also is lined but i believe the sleeve is lined with the polyester lining like this and it lines all the way down it's very soft and comfortable to wear and then let's talk a little bit about this belt right here so it comes with a belt on the waist and I like the belt too because it has just a regular belt I did kind of loop it on the side like this so that it doesn't get loosened and it just stays in place however there's so many ways to tie the belt if you look on Pinterest you can find different ways to tie bows and etc uh, which is endless a possibility with this belt right here for the first couple of days of having it I kept on thinking about it whether I like the cuffs as clean cut like so or with a little a bit more details ultimately I decided that I like the fact that it's more clean cut because it makes it so much easier when you're wearing your daily outfit and you're rolling up the cuffs it doesn't add bulk to the elbow area and also it makes it a lot more comfortable to move and you don't feel like you're constricted which is really nice because you don't want to feel like it's too tight it's more comfortable that way well yes that is mainly all the specs and details about it oh also the stitching on this is so so good if I can zoom it in, I don't know if I can zoom it in. It's super straight and it seems like it's very nice stitching. 
even in the back of the jacket like so the stitching is very nicely done love the fact that it's so clean cut so basically not too much detail to spec to the jacket, a very classic style, very classic cut and just gorgeous overall. I quite love it and let's talk about the material of this trench coat. This is 100% cotton and I at first was a little bit skeptical about 100% cotton jackets because I feel like it would wrinkled and I feel like it would not look as neat. However, after I got it, I was quite grown to the more uh, casual look it gives me. The material is strong and durable. You do see a little bit of wrinkles here and there because of course it is 100% cotton so that didn't bother me too much and I quite like like I said the wrinkly effect a little bit because it made it look more casual let's talk about the fit and the sizing of the jacket I got this in a size small which is my regular size I'm glad that I did that because it fit me really really well it was a little bit oversized giving me room to wear chunkier sweaters or maybe even a little bit of a thicker uh, sweater inside and still feel comfortable enough to move and not feel like it's constricted and then it also is oversized enough to give me a little bit of more of a relaxed look so I'm really glad that I went with that size. However, keep in mind, I am more of a slender body type. I'm not super curvy. So if you are curvy, I do feel going with your size or maybe a size up, if you want a more oversized fit, would probably be a better bet. So the length on how it falls onto my body is really nice as well. I like it more whenever I'm wearing a little bit of a higher heel. However, with sneakers, I am around 5'4", so it did fall well a little bit below the knee area. Hits at a really nice spot mid-calf, uh, so I do think that it's a nice fall on me. But if you are shorter than 5'4", or if you are more petite, then it may fall longer on the body than uh, how it falls on my body. However, I do think though that if it falls longer, than how it falls on my body is still going to look very nice because there are trench coats that are meant to be at a longer length and I'm looking for one too I just can't find the one that I really like yet so that's how it looks on my body and for reference that's how tall I am make the right judgment to see if this is something that would fit well for you or something that you're interested in alright guys so I think that is it for this review thank you so much for tuning in I believe that's everything I wanted to talk to you about the trench coat not really much to talk about it's very simple gorgeous silhouette but just wanted to give you the feedback on what I think about this item here which I've been loving for the past couple months so that is everything from me if you haven't subscribed yet please do so so we can see each other in the next video stay safe stay healthy see you later bye, bye.